Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Floss, back again with another video. And I had to beam back down real quick just to answer a few questions and give y'all an update on the Samsung Gear Icon X. Now, on a side note, I usually do these updates during my live stream on Sunday nights, which I did, but I accidentally deleted that video. Now, I usually do two streams, one regular stream, and then the second one where we play the music and go crazy. Then on Monday morning, I have to delete the second one due to the copyright infringements. But this past Monday morning, I was a little bit tipsy and I accidentally deleted the first stream first. So I had to delete both of them. So here we go. Now I went through the comments of the original gear review and I picked out 10 of the most frequently asked questions and I'm gonna answer them right now. The first one, is this a sponsored video? Now, I had a few haters come through and leave some hateful comments, and it sounded something like this. Yo, why you overhyping the product? You're only saying that you like it because you want Samsung to keep sending you free stuff. You don't want to say nothing bad about it. I know. I know. Listen, I've been on YouTube now for about 10 years. And in the space of that 10 years, Samsung has never sent me one product. That means no phones. No virtual reality headsets, no headphones, no tablets, no laptops, no speakers, no smartwatches, and no fitness trackers. Every product that you see on my channel that has Samsung's name on it is a product that I bought myself. So I have no reason to overhype something. Now, if you look through some of my old videos, take it back years ago, look at the Samsung Galaxy Tab fail, Samsung Epic fail, even a few weeks ago, the Samsung Gear Fit 2 fail. Now, if I was trying to kiss up to Samsung, why would I make a video telling you to specifically not buy a product? I didn't have to do that. I could have said, this is the dopest smartwatch out, go ahead and go buy that. But I don't roll like that. Now, if you don't believe me, here's my Amazon page right here, purchased on July 31st, All right, the gift Icon X with the price tag of 300 bucks. So not only did I buy these, I overpaid for them. I could have waited till August 15th and got them for 200 bucks, but I wanted them right now because the summertime is the heart of my workout season. So that answers that question. No, this is not a sponsored review. Next, how's the battery life? Now, I got to be brutally honest with y'all. The battery life is not the best. It's exactly like I said in the video. If you're streaming music, you're going to get an hour and a half worth of battery. And when I say an hour and a half, I don't mean an hour and 37 minutes, not an hour and 33 minutes. You're literally getting one and a half hours and these headphones are going to shut off. So there's two ways you can use these. You could stream your music. That means you just connect to your phone, play YouTube videos, play Pandora radio, play Spotify, play whatever you want. That's streaming music. If you stream your music like that, you're going to get one and a half hours. Now, if you save music directly to the headphones, Keep in mind, you got four gigs of storage. So that's about a thousand songs. If you save your music directly to the headphones, then you're gonna get three hours of battery life. Now you have to keep in mind, these are fitness headphones. All right? So they're not designed to be wearing all day long. They're not designed to be wearing on the airplane for a six hour flight. They're made for fitness. Now I don't know about you. You might be training for the Olympics. I don't know. But me, when I go to the gym, my full workout takes anywhere between an hour and an hour and a half. Now, even if I wanna do some cardio, that might be two and a half hours. So if you know you're gonna be in the gym, paying rent, living up in there for a long time, then you wanna store your music directly onto the uh, headphones. If not, your average workout for an hour and a half, you should be fine. Now, I use these in the gym basically about five times so far. And each time that I've used them, Right when I was finishing my workout or I was in the locker room or just chilling and talking to one of my dudes in the gym, that's when you get that alert saying you got 10% battery left. Then about five minutes later, you're going to get another alert saying you got 5% battery left. Then a few minutes after that, you're going to get an alert saying you got 2% battery left. And then you're going to get one more alert saying device is going to shut off. And then you got maybe about 30 seconds and then it's going to turn off. So the battery life on this is definitely not that great. But if you're buying these for the gym, then the battery life is adequate. Next, is there a microphone? Can you use these for phone calls? And the answer is yes. Now, how does it sound? 
It sounds perfectly fine. It's not the best in the world. It's not trash. It sounds perfectly fine. Every time I'm in the gym, I get phone calls and I just pull out my phone and answer the phone call. Now you could tap the headphones and answer it directly from the headphones, but I use Google Voice, which requires me to press the number one to answer my phone calls. So I have to answer them directly from the phone. But the point is, you can use them for phone calls. They sound crystal clear. No problems with that at all. Next, will these work on any phone? And the answer is no. It has to be an Android phone that's running Android KitKat or above, and your phone has to have at least 1.5 gigabytes of RAM or above. So basically, any new Android phone it's going to work on. Now, if you got an old school Android phone, then you're going to have a problem. But any one of these new Galaxy phones, Motorola phones, LG phones, you're going to be able to use these. If you got an iPhone, you can forget about it. Next, can you use one headphone at a time? And the answer is yes. Now, if you want, you can take these out, open them up, plug, plug, in one head, plug in one side, and just listen to music on one side which I've done. Now, when I work out with my dudes, I don't like to have both ears you know, flooded with music because we like to talk and work out at the same time. So I had just one side in so I could still get a little bit of music while I'm doing my sets and the other side out so I can still have a conversation. So yes, you can use one at a time. Next, charging. Now, do you have to walk around with a battery charger and a micro USB charging cable to charge these up after each workout because you're only gonna get an hour and a half to three hours battery life? And the answer is no. This is a built-in battery charger, the actual case. So that's what makes these kind of dope because even though, now me personally, I haven't saved any music to the headphones because when I go to the gym, I like to put on random playlists. I don't like to hear the same song twice while I'm up in the gym. So I didn't save any music to them. Every time I go there, I'm streaming music. So you're gonna get an hour and a half worth of music. Once you finish your workout, say you go to the gym on Monday. Once you finish your workout on Monday, you put these in a little cradle and you close it. Then you're gonna see you get these two red lights. That means they're charging up. All right, so this, this little cradle right here charges the, the headphones by itself. Now it takes about an hour to charge up and you get four complete charges. So think about that. When you work out on Monday, hour and a half workout, put them in the charger, put them back in your bag. When you get to the gym on Wednesday, you open them back up, these lights will be green, they'll be fully charged, do your workout again. Wednesday night when you finish, close them back up, put them back in your bag. When you get to the gym on Friday, open them back up, same thing. All right, so you're gonna get four workouts. Now I don't know about you, like I said, you might be training for the Olympics, I don't know. But the average person is not going to the gym more than four times a week. So after your fourth workout, then you bring them in the house, you plug them in and you charge them up and you're good for another week. Next, transferring music. How hard is it to transfer music? And the answer is, it's really simple. Now it comes with that little, I don't have it on me right now, but it comes with that little USB connector. All you have to do is plug that in, plug it into your Galaxy phone. As long as you have music on your phone, you select it using the gear manager and transfer it directly to the headphones. Now you can do the same thing from your PC. You can plug it into your PC and transfer songs directly from your computer right to the headset. Next, do they fall out? Now, the answer to that is no. And that's part of the reason why I'm so hyped about these headphones is they don't fall out. Now, if y'all watch my video, What's In My Gym Bag, I got about five different sets of headphones that I take to the gym with me. Ever since I got these, these are the only headphones I'm using in the gym from now on. Right, shout out to Xerxes. <laughs> these are the only headphones I'm using in the gym from now on. Not only do they not fall out or don't fall out, but they're super comfortable. That, was, uh, that brings me to my next question is, are they comfortable? Can you wear these for the full hour and a half and be comfortable? And the answer is yes. I, they're super comfortable. I've done full cardio workouts. I've rode my bike on these, uh, wearing these. And I, you know, I just walk around the gym, chilling, and do what I got to do. They're comfortable, and they're not going to fall out of your ears. I, you see the light just turned green. All right, well, I just closed it. That's part of the, uh, part of the main reason. That <laughs> Xerxes is killing me. That's part of the main reasons why I like these headphones. Is they're super comfortable. Now, my advice to you would be buy these for yourself and try them out. Go to Best Buy, buy them from Best Buy when they come out, try them out. If you don't like them, just return them. But I guarantee you, 
there's nothing like working out with some wireless headphones. Now y'all see me with the Jaybirds and the Power Beats and all these other headphones, look out. All these other gym headphones. Yeah, wireless headphones are cool, but there's nothing like wireless, wireless headphones. No wires at all. When you're wearing these in the gym, it's gonna feel like you're not wearing headphones at all and the music sounds perfect. When I say perfect, I don't mean super bass, super treble, perfect for in the gym. Loud enough that you're not gonna hear the music that's on in the gym. Loud enough that you're not gonna hear all these dudes you know, moaning and groaning up in the gym. You're not gonna hear none of that. Now there's one other caveat though. They have the ambient sound setting. Now when you connect the ambient sound setting, you're supposed to be able to hear your surrounding sounds. That's one thing that I will say is kind of gimmicky because when you put on the ambient sounds, the headphones almost sound like they get louder. Right? They almost sound a little bit louder. If somebody's talking next to you and then you connect to ambient sound and you think you're gonna hear them better, the answer is no. All right, so that feature's a little bit on the gimmicky side. I don't even really use it because it really doesn't work. Not to mention once I got these in, I don't really wanna talk to nobody. Let's see, uh, last question. Is there anything about these headphones that I don't like? And the answer is yes. Now, one of the main things that I don't like about the headphones besides the, you know, the slim battery life is the touch controls are super sensitive. Now, I'm a heavy-handed dude. I'll be slamming phones down. Y'all see how I get down? When I'm up in the gym, benching those crazy heavy weights, the last thing you want to be doing is trying to have some feather, feather weight touches. All right, some feather touches. It's kind of hard. Now, these headphones, super sensitive. So now, say you're trying to skip to the next track and you got to tap them three times, you have to be super precise because if you move a little bit, it's going to swipe up and it's going to raise the volume or it's going to swipe down. If you hold it one second too long, it's going to activate your S health, your S health workout. So that would be my main gripe. Is that Now, that's, that's a good thing and a bad thing. You don't want it to be where when you want to raise the volume, you got to be swiping crazy trying to you know find the trackpad. You got to have it in between. And these are maybe a little bit too much on the sensitive side. I kind of wish they had a feature that you could go into settings and deactivate the touch pads while you're working out. Because when I'm working out, I tend to get real sweaty. So a lot of times I want to take these out of my ears, wipe the sweat off, and put them back in. When you take them out of your ears, you're definitely going to activate the trackpad. It's just going to take some time of getting used to. Now I noticed when I first got them, I was going crazy with the trackpad. So, you know, to the point that I wasn't even using it. Anytime I wanted to do anything, I would do it directly from the phone, which you can do, which you could do. You can use all your controls. You can control them directly from the phone. So let's say I take this out. It's gonna connect by itself. You see, I just, I just took these out of the, the charger. It should connect. Let's see, do I got Let me put them in my ear. Activate these real quick. Okay, now I just, I just activated them. It should connect. Okay, now it said connected. Now you're gonna see some battery settings. Now you notice it connected. Now I'm using one at a time. So if I want to, I can control the volume directly from here. I can change all the settings, change all the music directly from the phone. I don't have to use the touch controls if I, if I don't want to, but it would have been nice if you had an option. That's my only thing I don't like, the touch controls, a little bit too sensitive and the battery life is a little bit too low. They should have made it for maybe for working out two complete hours. Now, hour and a half workout is good for me, but as soon as you stop to talk to one chick, or you stop to talk to one dude in the gym, or you stop to take some selfies, you're eating into your battery time. So that's my only complaints. Overall, on a scale of one to 10, I'm sticking to my original rating. These are major, major, major go. I highly recommend these. And like I said, just get them, try them for yourself. If you don't like them, take them back but I highly recommend these. And after using these, I'm not using no other headphones in the gym, period. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know if there's anything I didn't cover that y'all wanna know, and I'll try to get back to y'all. Shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram, Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, Stream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready, no meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. 
And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Let me show y'all something real quick. Now this is a picture I just took in, well, I posted on Instagram a little while ago. If you look closely, you can see I'm wearing the headphones right there. Using my Galaxy phone wearing the headphones. I'm not working out without these. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock, one to beam up. Energize. I got my headphones. About to work out with a horror in my quarters. Sulu, tell a horror to meet me up in this spot. Beam me back up. Energize.